हॉट्स क्वेश्चंस इन ज्योमेट्री बाय डॉक्टर मिसेस जयश्री अत्री डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इंक्रीजेस विद द स्टैंडर्ड्स आल्सो इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड इफ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दैट मींस वी हैव आस्क दिस चाइल्ड टू ड्रॉ सेगमेंट ए बी ऑफ लेंथ फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस प्रॉब्लम Uh, will be little bit difficult for that fifth standard child because he doesn't know how to draw the segment actually with the scale that means this teaching point will be how to measure the length also but this problem will become very easy for the sixth standard child because at that time he has got the mastery over the numbers and drawing skills also but in sixth standard if you ask the child to draw the segment of length 6.7 cm then difficulty level increases because in that standard only suppose he has learned the decimals points then he should know that measurements and with the help of that decimal points centimeter and millimeter also therefore this problem will be difficult for the 6th standard child that means the child who doesn't know the decimal system this is the thing in 7th standard also if we give some figures with the help of these uh, segments that means to draw uh, triangle squad, uh, some quadrilaterals with decimal points that means the length in decimal fraction then difficulty level increases in 8th standard if child is known that means he knows irrational numbers then one point is added in our syllabus to draw root 2 that means segment of length root 2 units you know how to draw root 2 units that means draw number line then mark firstly the origin after that take some distance in compass mark one unit two units like this at one unit distance again draw perpendicular then on that perpendicular take same one unit distance join those thing that means origin and that point and then that length will become root 2 here we are using the theorem of pythagoras which we have learned in 7th standard because that sum of the Uh, square of perpendicular sides will give the square root of that hypotenuse and by using that you will get root 2 unit distance of that segment that means that concept root 2 concept you have learned in 8th standard you can solve this problem now difficulty level again increases if i ask you the question to draw the segment of length root 41 how to draw root 41 firstly you have to split up that 41 in such a way that two numbers will be square numbers and then those square numbers if you consider take the square roots those square roots will be the perpendicular sides of the right angle triangle here we can split up 41 in 16 and 25 sum of 16 and 25 will give you 41 therefore on the number line if you draw one side 4 cm or 4 unit and take perpendicular on that point and then that distance if you take 5 unit join that hypotenuse that means origin and one point then you will get that length of the segment will be root 41 here again we are using pythagoras theorem but if i asked you to draw the segment of length root 15 draw the segment of root 15 without using pythagoras theorem how to draw this type of problem is asked in our hot part of the 10th standard syllabus 
without using pythagoras theorem means which point you will think that means which con concept will be useful to you for that purpose you have to think too much and that thinking process will become difficult and difficult because at that time also you have to eliminate something that means this problem is not related to this topic not related to another topic then which topic will be related to this problem that you have to think and therefore thinking process will become that means difficult one and higher order thinking higher order means two three concepts you have to add here but how do you know that which concept should be added therefore you have to revise all the chapters all the case basic concepts by which you will get that without using pythagoras how you will get the length of one segment you have learned pythagoras theorem but in that pythagoras theorem do you remember something about geometric mean theorem do you remember it try to revise it that in right angle triangle if you draw perpendicular to the hypotenuse from the vertex which is at the right angle then we get two parts of the hypotenuse then product of this part if you consider then square root of that product will give you the length of that perpendicular on the hypotenuse this geometric mean property you can use here for solving this problem how to use it because we have not given any triangle we are not given any hypotenuse then what to do here we have to draw segment of length root 15 therefore firstly we have to split up 15 in two parts in different way you can split up this i will split up this by 5 and 3 that is product of 5 and 3 is 15 i can take product of 15 and 1 that is also 15 it is also correct one but for my convenience i will take 5 and 3 product of this is 15 then 5 plus 3 those lines will be the segments of hypotenuse if i consider like this therefore draw analytical figure firstly draw analytical figure that draw right angle triangle call that right angle triangle as abp that means p point will be at right angle then ab will be your hypotenuse and draw perpendicular from p on ab it is not necessary to take that protractor and all but that means by free hand also you can draw so that it is a right angle then you will get that aq and bq those segments are 5 and 3 show there then product of these two is 15 therefore with the help of geometric mean theorem that length of pq will be root of 15 that means you can find root of 15 that length segment and then how to draw it that means how to draw construct the right angle triangle do you remember one more thing that in circle you have learned that angle subtended by the diameter is right angle that property also you can use here therefore for drawing fair figure you can draw firstly on the number line you can take one segment of length 8 cm two parts will be there the total length will be ab 8 cm give names to the end points as a and b then show there one point q that aq will be 5 and bq will be 3 that means you have to measure that and you have to give point q at the point q draw perpendicular that means again basic construction which you have learned in 9 standard we are using here then at q you draw perpendicular keep as it is then again look at that ab ab segment and then draw 
midpoint remember that this is different for drawing midpoint you have to construct perpendicular bisector of that ab this perpendicular bisector is different from that perpendicular which you have drawn from the point q and then for that point you give that midpoint of ab give that name as o o will be the midpoint of ab then from o that means considering o as the center and oa as the radius draw semi circle after drawing semi circle you will get intersecting point of that semi circle and perpendicular drawn from the point q call that point intersecting point as p that means pq will be the perpendicular to ab at q we are give, getting two segments aq is 5 and qb is 3 join ap and bp that angle at point p is right angle because angle in semicircle is right angle therefore angle a p b is right angle and if you that means you got the point that pq length will be root 15 because here we are using geometric mean property aq is 5 bq is 3 therefore length of pq which is perpendicular from the vertex to the hypotenuse that length of the segment will be root 15 and therefore this is the problem which is very important one that you need so many concepts which are included in our syllabus and that problems becomes difficult higher order difficulty level is there because concepts are different and how to think for that this is also different and for that purpose if you solve so many problems having different areas then you will get those problems will become even though they are difficult they will become easy to you because of the practice only my ssc dot in